hello what's up youtube brony sweet and our tutorial and this is going to be like a color grading tutorial i've been getting so many dms on instagram about me doing a tutorial about how i did color grade the images like the one you're seeing right on your screen so this is going to be a color grading tutorial and i just want you guys to follow along so those thinking that this is photoshop no this is capture one so i want you guys to first of all learn how to use capture one and get the best out of your images remember i shoot in raw and this is a raw file meaning i'm just going to be having so so much flexibility with this image and i could take it to the very extremes when i'm trying to do the color grading as opposed to people that shoot in jpeg because jpeg files always have information embedded in them uh, like when you're shooting the image all those colors the camera captures are going to be stored and embedded in that image meaning you're going to be having less actually less or least flexibility when you're trying to work on the image to color grade it so i would recommend you guys to shoot in raw so let's just go in for today's tutorial so usually like i said this is my caption and if i told you don't have caption you're definitely going to be missing out because caption is i think a game so make sure that you really really master and understand how to use capture and if at all you want the best out of your images most professionals prefer using capture to other software basically this is not actually a sponsored video but it is more of like a review from a person that has been using capture for a while now so uh, what i want to show you guys like in capture one we have so many adjustments and you may be wondering maybe why my capture one interface is looking way different from the one that you have so usually the way my capture one is it is like the way my lightroom is yeah i won't deny i have lightroom and i also use it to retouch images so if at all you want the same interface like you have the photos right down here and you have the adjustments on the right hand side you can come to window workspace then you come to migration and you'll have it looking the way it is like mine right here so usually in capture one uh, i want to first of all show you guys uh, the information about this image and how i shot it so this image was taken at around 4 30 pm and the sun was hitting the model from at uh, this direction so this was the sun hitting a model from this side so what i had to do in order to compete with the sun or maybe out compete the sun i had to place my godox adc sun red on the opposite side of uh, the direction from which the sun was hitting the model so i had to put my light on the opposite side since the light was hitting her from the right hand side or my right hand side for those looking at the image on the screen I had to put my light on the opposite side so that I can have a balanced image and not have shadows on this other side. So, like I said, this is a raw file. And for settings, I shot it at ISO 100 at 1 out of 1250th of a second. And I shot it at f3.2 using a Canon 6D camera. And I also used my Tamron lens. That is a 7200 2.8 and the aperture I showed this image was 3.2 so enough of that so I just want, wanted to give you guys a background for this very image and what transpired as I shooting this image so since we have a raw file I want first of all do the color correcting and maybe the lighting fixing for uh, this image so for this case I come to the dynamic range and the very first thing I want to do is coming to the highlights and just take them down just like that and you can see this shot that was looking a little bit white in color we are trying to get back uh, the information because this shot was initially a pink shot so I'm just going to come to the whites and also do the same because I want to get information in the sky and I also get the information in uh, the shot right here so after doing that, the next thing I do is coming to the blacks and also taking the blacks down so that I can have more and richer information to work with. And after doing that, I come to the shadows and open up my shadows just like that. 
and this really makes the image pop a little bit more but just don't take it to the extreme before adding a little bit of contrast to the image so i'm just going to come to the contrast and i simply put a contrast of around six i think that looks fine then i'm going to come to the clarity and add some cl clarity that's around five then i come to where it says levels and pour in my blacks a little bit to around five and also pour my white scene just like that so in capture one when you want to see the overexposed areas in your images you can come and turn on the exposure warning icon because let me show you guys how this works before we can even proceed so when i come to the image and i tend to maybe turn up this you can see that the exposure warning is showing me that these areas are clipping and they are really overexposed in this image so that is the advantage of that exposure warning when you turn it on and when you turn it off you can't see the overly exposed area so i'm just going to come and reset this so this is the image you have right now so we have added contrast into the image so the next thing i want to do is still coming to the shadows and opening up the shadows a little bit more so now i feel like i really have magentas within the skin tone remember it is an issue uh, that we that shoot with canon cameras usually face when we are trying to maybe process images and usually have images that have so many reds embedded in them so i'm just going to come to where it says base characteristics and under that i have icc profile and here i have my camera which is the canon 6d so i'm just going to uh, change that to pro standard and this is going to eliminate the reds or the magentas especially in the skin tone of the model so we are done doing the basic adjustments for this image so let's see the before and after so far this is not all for the color grading so i'm just going to come to the before and after option and you can see when i turn this this is the before and the after before after you can see that we have money to get back the information in the image so i'm just going to turn that off so next thing is going to be the actual color grading process remember in capture one you can selectively work on the colors in the skin tones and also make them look a little bit uniform and better depending on what you really want as the person doing the editing or the color grading so i'm just going to come to where it says like in photoshop we have layers and also in capture we also have layers so when you right click on that plus icon you can create layers depending on what you want so for this case i'm just going to create a new field adjustment layer so come and hit that and you could just come and rename this to maybe color grade so that we don't get lost uh, during the way so this is the layer that is going to be containing the color grading that we are going to put onto this specific image so after doing that we're just going to come all the way down to where it says color editor i hope you can see this and within color editor first of all i feel like the sky was having a little bit of blues you can see i have that kind of blues so the very first thing i want to do is coming to uh, my aquas right here and just take it up because i want to get back that kind of pop and vibrance within the sky and i'm also going to come the blues and also take up the saturation of the blues and i think this makes the image look a little bit better and after doing that the next thing i want to do i feel like this should be a little bit more pink in color so i'm just going to come to where it says magentas and i'm just going to slightly increase the saturation i, I just don't want to take it all the way up because this is going to be a little bit too much i just want to slightly intensify on that color so that it can pop a little bit more and this is where we are right now so the next thing is going to be working with the skin tones of the model so i'm just going to come to where it says skin tone right here and i'm just going to come and get my color picker tool so this is the color picker tool so let me just take it up so when you get the color picker tool it means that you just want to come and sample that color that you want the rest of the skin to look like or to be uniform so you just want to create a uniform skin tone and we get rid of that 
bumpiness or inconsistency within the color of the skin tone. So I'm just going to get the color picker tool and now I can zoom into the image. So use Ctrl or Command Plus and use the space bar after zooming in. Hold down the space bar and click and look for the area, especially in the face. You can see that we have this color cast from the shirt and we have this red. So you just want to eliminate those reds or that red color. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use Command minus to zoom out. And now come and click on the area that I want the rest of the skin to look like. So just come and click on that area. And when you click on it, you can see that it samples the colors in that area. You can see that we have yellows and we have a little bit of oranges and reds. So since I don't want to affect uh, this shirt and part of the lips, I'm just going to click right here and reduce on the selected drain just like that. I hope you can see that. So meaning I'm not going to be affecting the magentas in the pink shirt. And after doing that, the next thing is going to be having those uniform colors in the skin tones. And as we are selecting this and we come all the way down after sampling the color that we want for the rest of her skin, you can come to this option which says view selected color range. And when you turn it on, you can see that we have only selected the skin tone and we have not selected uh, the rest of uh, the shirt and maybe part of the environment. So just come and turn this off and you'll have back the rest of the colors. So what we want to do is having that kind of uniformity within the skin tone. And in this case, I'm just going to zoom in because I want to eliminate the reds within this specific area. So come to where it says uniformity and under that we have hue, saturation and lightness. So when I left click on this option and I start dragging it towards the right hand side, you're going to notice that it is going to be eliminating the reds in this area. You can see that it is now making the skin tone look really nice and uniform. And I'm just going to take it up, up to around 64 looks good and slightly take up my saturation. So around 20, we are good to go control minus to zoom out. And I feel like that is not enough. I'm just going to take it up a little bit. 29 looks good. And right now we have made or created a uniform skin color. You can see if at all, I show you the before and after right now. So this is our after and we have uniform skin tone. And this is the before where we have some, some reds. You can see the before and after. Right now we have uniform skin color or skin tones. So I'm just going to turn this off and use Ctrl minus or Command minus to zoom out. So the next thing I want to do is coming back to my color grade layer and I just feel like I should uh, really turn up my shadows a little bit more because I feel like uh, the skin tone was really, or the model was really dark in color for this case just going to turn it up and also do the same for my whites and that looks really nice and beautiful so i could come back to uh, this option where we have the basic adjustments and i could slightly increase on these colors remember we are in our color grade layer so i could come to the background layer and also intensify this blue color. Let me see what it is going to give me. So come the blues and slightly intensify that color. And do the same for the aquas. Just turning up the saturation. And let's see the overall before and after. And I forgot to mention that if at all you feel like you have really applied the color grading on the area that you don't want to color grade. You can come to the color grade layer and get your rubber or eraser tool. Click on it and you can simply uh, remove the color grading from that area. So I'm just going to undo that command Z to undo. So let's see the overall color grading and the before and after for everything that we have done in this tutorial. So you can see when I turn on the before and after, this was the image initially before and after before after you can see uh, the work that we did and if at all you don't shoot in raw 
make sure that you learn and shoot in RAW. And now when you're done color grading and you have a, a number of images that you want to work with or to work on from the very session, you can simply come to the adjustments and simply copy the adjustments. And now I feel like I want to apply it on the image I hadn't edited before. So let's just choose this random image and come back to adjustments and simply click on apply adjustments and you can see the color grading has been applied to this image. So basically this is how to do your color grading in Capture One and when you're done doing the color grading you can as well just come right here to image and you come to edit with and choose maybe Photoshop to do the skin retouching and for a format I prefer TIFF and also a 16-bit image works better for me. Options I prefer uncompressed and ICC profile Adobe RGB resolution 300 pixels and also the scale is fixed. Then under adjustments I prefer to add a little bit of sharpening uh, to my image of around 9% and just click on edit variance and it's going to take or open up Photoshop so that you can do the skin retouching on your images. So basically this is why you should learn to use Capture One to color grade your images and have more and better or professional skin tones and professional colors in your images. This has been all for today's tutorial and if at all you love this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating. And don't forget to color grade your images.